Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome on back as we continue on with some more tales. Alright, let's get going here. I guess we gotta make our way up and around. I can kind of relax this weekend. I am on call today though, sadly. But... But... Got here, SC recovery when damage received. Oh, ooh. <laughs> this aroma. Oh. So, uh, um, wait, that's hopefully. Uh, today and tomorrow. Well, I guess today. I guess tomorrow I can also record. Um, try to get an advance, get a head start or something. Um, I do have to start my project next week, so. What's wrong? Why are may, you on here? not. <clears throat> get y'all to record next week. That's know. what we want to know. Busy. Where were you going? Oh, just taking a walk. Thought maybe I ate too much. You don't have to follow every whim that pops into your head, damn it. We thought you might have ditched us to go assassinate someone. Not yet, silly. That comes later. It's from someone who lost their son in the war that just broke out. Kill the one who started the battle. The invasion was proposed to the Emperor about a year ago, in documents bearing the name of Pope Nesedra. Huh? You're gonna kill the Pope? Hold on. How do you know someone didn't just use his name? I thought he went missing after all. Maybe. But then again, maybe not. It's awfully close to the time he went missing. We'll have to investigate further. And what if we find out that he's bad? If it's evil, the Scattered Bones slay it. Even if it's the Pope? The Pope, the Emperor. Even the shepherd. Oh, was that inappropriate? <laughs> I'm not a fan of that last part, it's true. It isn't like we walk around all stabby stabby. We make sure what kind of person our target is first. Hmm. I think I understand you better, Rose. Do you now? Well, that's good. I'm starting to understand, too, why she bears no malevolence, that is. Because she's as nuts as he is? Rose would certainly never tell a lie, that's for sure. She was always that way. It's in her blood. Was the Pope the type of person who would just up and start a war? That's certainly not the impression of him we got from Sergei. He's the de facto leader of a powerful country. He's probably got more layers than you'd think. Okay, I'm with it now. Now what are we doing? Okay. Let's see if there's anything back here. Can we go in? Oh, yeah. Let's see if there's a chest or something. rhyme or reason to what happens when you fuse equipment? Great question, Rose. You're right. There's nothing random in the fusion of equipment. Can you just tell it to me short and simple before I fall asleep? Sure. First, the rules for fusing two different equipment skills only apply to those located in the same slot. So it actually does matter which slot each skill is positioned at? Yes. 
What skill is placed in which slot is a very important factor in equipment fusion. So it's important to... <sighs> well, it's... Huh? Are you asleep? Hmm. I'm starting to wonder about that. <sighs> yes, we're just going to save. Even though we really probably don't need to, we will. But remember, I always save. I learned my lessons back when I was younger. If we can save for a while or just save in one, we can really mess up. So where am I going again? Take a look around the Shrine Church. That was back here, correct? Right? <laughs> back here, right? I don't know what I want to. So the good thing is I get my next few games I want to stream in line, so that's good. So after this, we hit a couple different ones, and then we come back to another. So, ooh, we actually just straight ran out, didn't we? Wrong way. <laughs> Wait, where am I going? So I think I need to go... Castle? Eastern Quarter. I don't know, this doesn't really tell you. Oh, goodness, my friend. Yeah. Well, streaming's okay, you know. Kit is very not on point of like trying to give you a location. At least Borderlands lets you know. Tales of Arise like kind of like is like, hey, it's here. <laughs> you may have to zoom out the entire thing to find it, but it's here. And this one's just, yeah, good luck. Find where you're going. Which I mean, classic for RPGs. Oh, there's Well, that was easier than we thought. This looks like an auditorium of sorts for the believers. Sure looks like a small crowd. Can you tell me the names of the Seraphim who hold the utmost power, known as the Five Lords? Um, uh... Musef! Oh, and Eumacea! Hyanawa Anominok! Correct. Now, can you tell me the name of the last one, the Seraph who's worshipped here at the Shrine Church? Motelis! Motelis! <gasps> That's right! Motelis is the Seraph who has given the entire Glenwood Continent his blessing. The Seraph worshipped at the Shrine Church is Motelis? The Five Lords, huh? Big movers and shakers. I bet Mountellus would know something about how to stand against the Lord of Calamity. He's got to! Is he really all that? Well, he's the leader of the Five Lords, after all. You must be Sore. Welcome to the Roland's Church headquarters. I heard you were to visit. Please, come on in. more magnificent than I'd even imagined. The architecture definitely dates it to the height of the era of Asgard. Glad to see you're impressed, but don't let your guard down.
This inscription concerns the trial of the shepherd and the spiritual powers he obtains upon clearing it. Could the spiritual powers be real? Bzz, 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 bzz. Be real, real bees. Oh, bees everywhere. Just, Just possibly. possibly. It's like the lettering's meant to tell us something. But it's all gibberish. It must be some kind of code. Well, it does involve sensitive info. Maybe there's a hint to crack the code somewhere. Hey, what does the big rock thing say? I'm afraid I'm not really sure. The inscription is written in some sort of cipher, and the key to interpreting it is handed down only from Pope to Pope. So, I guess we'll have to get the Pope to read it then, huh? Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. I don't feel so good. What is going on? It's a Hellion's domain. Just like when we fought Heldolf. They're alive, but... It's like they've been turned to stone. Can, can I go back and save? <laughs> Because this is either going to be a boss fight, <laughs> or this is going to be a cutscene, and I think, oh no. We didn't even get a chance to save him last save before we came in here. Going home already, Shepard? Huh? <gasps> I am Cardinal Fortin of the Church of Rollins. This domain... is it yours? Ah, so you can still move. Why don't you lend me your powers? For the sake of the people, of course. They asked me the same thing in Highland. I hardly think myself the equal of a Philistine like Bartlow. Sounds like something a Philistine would say. Charming, but sticks and stones and so on, young lady. Ooh, she's good. I have one wish. To see my empire overcome this tumultuous era of chaos. A task only possible if the people are united. But Rolands is far too expansive to unify the people through mere patriotism alone. Shepard, do you know exactly what it is that the state has used for eons to keep an entire country in line? Is it... faith? Yes, faith. It is the belief in their own salvation that inspires in people the greatest sense of unity when they band together against outsiders who share different values. Meaning that my church itself should serve as the cornerstone for all of Roland's. Maybe in your mind. It is but the vision of one who would guide the people. With the name and power of the Shepherd, more people than ever can be brought to salvation. Then you should cooperate with the Knights. Wouldn't that really be what's best for everyone? I would welcome their efforts if they would simply bend to my will and do as I command. Even if they are a pack of loutish meatheads who can't figure out that their Pope abandoned them. Wait a minute, the Pope just ran away? You didn't have him locked up? I am not a street thug, child. The Pope. Etc. I should say, left of his own accord. Abandoning his duty to both the Empire and his followers. What, pray tell, would you call such a man? Pretty irresponsible, if what you're saying is true. Irresponsible is one word, and still there are so many fools out there who trust in such a coward. The Knights, for example. 
In order to bring the people together, we must find Macedra and give him his due punishment. Punishment? Yes, the same punishment that befell those uncivil enough to mistrust me. Then we have a problem. We need the Pope to tell us the meaning of the inscription. Why? Cooperate with me and it won't be necessary. I need to know. No matter what. Ah, I see. That's very unfortunate. So then you mean to say... What the... My body! That you reject my vision! Saray! <sighs> Let's go! We're leaving. What? They broke through my domain and connected with the Seraphim, if only just for a moment. Oh, will I relish this! Okay. We disappeared? What the hell was that? It's called the Spectral Cloak. <laughs> You've been practicing in secret, haven't you? That was sweet! We'll talk later. We've got to flee to the Knight's Tower. There must be herbs around here. We must flee to the Knight's Tower. Leo, I made this for you. Got a dash. You go on ahead. Uh, okay. The Pope fled of his own volition? I'm sorry I couldn't get more details. We were sort of running for our lives. No, that is more than enough. I'm just relieved that you weren't captured. Thanks for saving us back there. It's the least I could do. Seraph Miklio, my humble admiration for your bravery. It's nothing, really. It is nothing. All you did was blind her temporarily. We have to do something about her domain. Those powers might help. Let's get the Pope to decipher that inscription. That'll be tough if we don't know where he is. The Knights have been hunting him for a year now with no success. Yeah, but they were assuming the whole time that the Cardinal was behind the disappearance. Guess what? I think I know where Popadope might be. You do? The village of Gadadin on the southern part of the continent. We won't know for sure until we check it out, of course. How did you get that information? Well, let's just call it an industry secret. You know how it is. Of course. I should have expected no less from the wife of the shepherd. Let us send a search team to Gadadin. <laughs> Hold on a minute. The Cardinal already expects that our side will be searching for the Pope. A highly visible squadron of knights would essentially be a bright pink arrow pointed straight at him. However, we can operate covertly in small numbers. Let us handle Gadadin. But that's far too much to ask. Chill, Captain, we got this. What is it they say? Pope springs eternal? Abandon Pope! All ye who... Uh... Don't go to Gadadin. 
Okay, settle down. My thanks, gentle shepherd. Actually, as for what you can do in return, do you suppose we could get a pass to Rollins? I might be mistaken for an ally of the Highland Army otherwise. I have seen for myself the quality of your character. I shall prepare it immediately. Thank you. That's a load off my mind. There is something I would like to impart to you as well. Would you please step outside for a moment? Do you remember the art I used when we fought against one another? That is the Lion's Howl, an art passed down through our band of knights. I and my younger brother Boris are the only ones alive who know it. But now I pass it to you as well. Wilt thou accept? Yes. Fast learner. I must apologize that this feeble art is all an oaf like me may offer you. Don't say that. It's incredible. Thank you so much, Captain Sergei. You and I stand as equals. You may call me Sergei. Then you may call me Sarei. Sarei, I am loath to believe the Pope just abandoned his post on us. But I also sense that there may be another side to this unfortunate story. I understand. We'll find the Pope and come back with the truth. Godspeed. Rose, was it the scattered bones who found the information on the Pope? Maybe. Seeing where the church's money was going gave us a little hint. That's what I thought. You guys sure don't operate in the same way that the knights do. Of course not! An Assassin's Guild can't function without proper intel. Assassins, right. Mm, he's like, oh, right, Assassins. Right. Here is your pass, Saray. Thank you. Our travel should be much easier now. I wish it were so, but we've received word that Byroclef Ridge, which leads to Gadotten, has been blocked by rock slides. We could have been on the ridge right now. If only we'd been a little bolder. Rose! My punchline! Hmm. What's the plan? You'll have to go through Cambria Caverns, south of the Meadow of Triumph. An underground passage, huh? No problem! <laughs> That's your thing, isn't it? You bet it is! Okay. I don't think I need anything.
check and see if they have anything new. Is it one of the Cardinal's guards? Saray, we have to trick the guard into thinking we're not here somehow. We made it! Think we lost the Cardinal with that? I sure hope so. Ugh, I ate too much today. My stomach's all achy. Oh my, you shouldn't stuff yourself like that, Rose. By the way, I was curious. Can Seraphim get upset stomachs or gain weight? To say it in a fairy tale sort of way, your thoughts become reality. What's that supposed to mean? We won't gain weight from consuming calories, but we will from thinking, I'll gain weight if I eat this much. Whoa! So does that mean you'll be okay as long as you don't think like that? No. Hmm. Denying the reality of things leads to malevolence. A seraph must not be detached from reality. So at the end of it all, you could say we're the same as humans. This is so confusing! Which way do I need to go? Meadow of Triumph, so that's where I'm going, huh? Okay. Characters who have acquired mystic arts can, uh, can inflict great damage, can cast one if you hold down O and R2 during a combo while your BG is at 3 or greater. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's how it... <laughs> uh, maybe I'll try it over here. Strike! I will fight evil! He's got it. 
level 21, 20, 20, 21, okay, I mean, I don't know, I, I really don't know much about this game, I feel like it's kind of has within the scale level, except for a couple enemies here and there, um, like, you seem to face stuff in there, they seem to be scaled, ready, Nick, you wait to, you get, Leo, ready, 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 Caverns or whatever, I mean. Cambria Caverns. He said they were south of the Meadow of Triumph. Must be that. Yep, that is where we're going. And oh, we need to stop. We are over our limit. I meant to stop a minute ago. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll continue next episode right where we left off. And we'll continue. Hopefully, we can get uh, get through this game. Uh, I kind of like to be through this game by the time summer hits, so I can knock out a couple other games. Uh, I'll, I'll like to kind of clear out my game inventory um, by the end of summer, and then maybe some streams would probably be platinuming stuff. So, I right, guess thanks for watching.